Hello and welcome to an anime review slash vlog about the anime movie Doikusei. Also known as Classmates, and I like Classmates better because I can actually pronounce that correctly. Hopefully I'm not too far off about uh, Doikusei or whatever it is. So, uh, this is a movie that I saw the past couple nights. I like watched half of it Sunday night. Yeah, that was Sun or maybe it was Saturday. I think it was Sunday. I don't remember. And then the other half uh, last night, which was Monday, and I thought I would make a video about it, but I did not want to make a full video because, well, that would take a while to like do the editing, do the scripting, so I took a couple notes and decided I would just talk to my camera for like 10 minutes or however how long this uh, takes. So yes, uh, Classmates is a movie. It is a uh, romance, you know, mainly just romance. It's uh, between two guys, so Chun and I, Yaoi, depending on how you define it, but not really. It's more like the cute, fluffy romance, though there is some kissing. And yeah, it's uh, more Yaoi than search another uh, famous Yaoi anime. You know which ones I'm talking about, I'm sure. And yeah, it's about uh, these two guys, whose names I'm going to bring up right now. Uh, Sajio and Hikaru, and uh, he's Hikaru, his, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and yeah, uh, Sajio is your basic, he's a nerd, he gets good grades at everything, and Hikaru is more of the rebel, he plays in a band, and well, it shows their relationship growing to closer together, and just some of the challenges that they grow through throughout the course of the movie. The movie is split into four arcs, which are 15-minute stories taking place uh, good a good amount of time apart. You have uh, the first summer, uh, then you have fall, the second summer, and I forget what the last season was. Did they tell us the last season? Anyway, um, at first I didn't really care for this movie all that much. Like I thought it was okay, it was kind of interesting, but for the first couple arcs I didn't find myself really caring about the characters, but then the last two arcs I ended up liking a good amount. I think the reason for this was because like the first arc and the first and second arc was just like setting up uh, the story that they're going to tell and then the third and fourth arc is able to more uh, deeply dive into these characters show who they are what made them tick even though it wasn't all that complex it was still there uh, like you find a way uh, Sajo ended up going to this high school even though it's not really all that well uh, known or well renowned uh, even though he's really smart you also get more into Hikaru with uh, the band that he is in wanting things to say the same or stay this way they are, having people around him starting to leave and basically not wanting to lose uh, Sajo as well. Uh, yeah, I think those are the main things that this was about. I did like the romance. It was, it reminds me of a Momo Kuri in a way. It's like, it's like a cute romance. There isn't a whole lot of depth or drama or substance, which I think is good. Especially if you're going to only have an anime be an hour long, you really can't do too much with it. And I'm sorry my chair makes noises. And yeah, you can't really do all that much with an anime if it's only an hour long. So I guess maybe you could try to do, be really ambitious, but that probably wouldn't go that well. And I do think it was interesting to see how the other characters responded to the homosexual uh, relationship. There was like some teasing, some questions like, does he really feel this way? Uh, the teacher's role, that was interesting. And I don't, I don't necessarily like the way they did it. Or I guess it's more like I don't like that they did that way and then didn't follow through on that story at all. It's just like in that one arc and then it was basically not there anymore. Uh, there were some good moments of comedy too. It was not the funniest, but some good moments. Uh, the animation is something that I found was different. Like in the beginning, I thought it was just very basic and like, I don't want to say that they were being lazy, but it felt like they weren't doing anything special. It was just the bare bones animation. But then like during the last uh, arc or two, they were able to use it in some interesting ways, though they just fit the style that they were doing. And yeah, uh, this is done by A1 Pictures and there are kind of some similarities in character design between this and Gringar, maybe, kind of. Uh, definitely not with the backgrounds though, just they kind of felt similar, if that makes any sense to you. Um, yeah, I guess that's things I liked. I did like the drama, I liked the comedy, and yeah, this was overall a pretty decent show. I guess the biggest issue I would have with it is that it did not do more. Like, I'm praising it because it's basic, but I'm also seeing that because it's basic, it's not anything more than basic. And yeah, basic's only decent, I guess. It also was kind of boring for like the first half, as it was thinking, okay, this is good for you to watch right before bed. I don't care that much, but just something like something kind of relaxing and not really in the good relaxing way, just like, uh, blah, I don't care. But other ones it did pick up, though, I did like a, a pretty good amount. I think if I had a score, it would be like a between a 6 and a 7. I'm not sure the exact number. I was thinking about where this would fit in my 2016 ranked list. So probably around like rank 25, somewhere between 25 and 30, I think. I'd have to go back, and that's lots of things. And I don't feel like editing that or looking it up. 
<clears throat> so I guess I could have looked it up and made a note of it before I made this video, but I didn't, so we're just going to have to go with that. If you really care, I can go check, or you can go check my massive 44-minute video. That was fun. No, I'm not doing that again anytime soon. So, uh, have you seen this movie? Is it one that you like? Is it uh, the best anime movie ever made? I don't think it is, but maybe you can convince me why I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, if you've seen it, maybe you want to go see it now. It's not bad. Unfortunately, there are no legal ways to watch it, but that doesn't stop most people with the medium, I'm sure. So, yeah, enjoy the anime if you like that type of stuff. If you're not really into uh, romance anime or like uh, shonen eye anime, then probably not one for you. It's not good enough that it would commit to you to change your mind. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time with something that I actually know what I'm doing when I'm talking about it. All right, bye.